Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's the backstory to this. This was a consignment item. So they have a shop and they do consignment and they got a box of stuff from somebody and it said junk on the box. They thought this was junk and they sold this on eBay auction for $520.97 plus shipping. These are 1940s. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a featured members video for you. I am going to tell you where they got their Bolo, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are members of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. If you would like to join memberships, there is a link down here. Um, if you don't see that join button, you can uh, check out the description for the actual link. Um, Level two gets you in the videos. This is just if you're interested in being featured, having your bolo featured, and getting a shout out for your eBay store or your YouTube channel. They're, um, again, I'll link down in the description. Blooper at the end. All right, let's get started here. So the first item comes from Be Carried Away. She is incredible. She has branched out to Etsy. So I'm going to show you a couple of her Etsy sales, but definitely go and subscribe to her channel. She is incredible with keywords and descriptions and definitely a bolo finder. So what did she sell? She sold this really cool... Um, Spiegelberg, Die Spiegelberg, Felix Rabbit Hair Tartan Plaid Red Rolling Suitcase Luggage Bag Made in Germany. She sold this for $89.99 and she picked this up at a Salvation Army for $4.99. What a fantastic deal. And how cute is this? It's incredible, right? Can you believe that was only $5? I think I would have picked it up. The next item she sold is this large vintage M-A-I-O Big Eye Harlequin Girl Dancer Print Ornate Wood Frame um, 1960s. She got this also at the Salvation Army for $3.99 and she sold it for $89.99 plus shipping. And I just got to say that I absolutely love her little uh, logo. So uh, check her out. All right. The next item comes from Chosen Goods reseller, Carissa. She has been out on medical, so has not put out a lot of YouTube videos lately, but please subscribe to her and check out some of her older videos. They are amazing. She is amazing. And I think she's going to be putting out a video soon. I'm trying to convince her to do that. So stay tuned for that and sub her up. All right. She got this Build-A-Bear advent calendar, and it's a Berry Merry Christmas gingerbread house mini Build-A-Bear. She bought three of them. This was a retail arbitrage purchase, and she has sold one for $99.51. It was an international sale, so global shipping program. She did pay $35.73 a piece for these. So retail arbitrage, you're going to pay a little more, um, and the margins are maybe not going to be as big, but definitely one of those where you can buy multi-quantity, list it once, and just flip it over and over and over again. So great sale there for her. Um, she is building her eBay store up again. It was um, shut down for five months. So you guys know when you take a little break, you got to kind of get everybody interested in your store again. Now, I picked this one because this is totally something that I get in my mystery toy boxes all the time. And I kind of just redonate them. And she sold it. I'm like, I need to like list these. People are looking for them. This is a nubby pink hippo rattle plush loop baby infant fully sanitized. So she did sanitize it, which is smart because it's got the little chewy things on it. Um, she sold this for $10.42 plus shipping. So if you guys watch my reseller, uh, nope, I'm sorry, my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, I buy thrift store mystery boxes toy boxes, Christmas boxes, and I unbox them. And you'll see a lot of these types of things and I redonate them. So I am going to think twice about that. Um, I also recently did a video on Thai uh, plush that sell for big money. 
And you got to check that out. But she got this. And the reason we decided to share this is because this came out of one of Donatella Bottolino's. Um, she does YouTube reseller events. And sometimes she will take the plush that have issues or that um, like the tags cut off or things like that. And she will make dog lots. What does that mean? It means it's plush for your dog to play with. But I will tell you that sometimes people find plush that they can sell. And she sells it basically for the shipping costs, plus like a couple bucks just for her time and packaging materials. But um, not really doing it for profit. She's just doing it to get people dog toys. <laughs> so Carissa, uh, Chosen Goods reseller, bought this dog lot for her dogs, but she pulled this one out to sell. And it is a Thai Pluffy's Pumpkin Plush Pumpkin Thai Lux, and it's a Halloween jack-o'-lantern. And she sold this for a best offer of $10.20 plus shipping. So this item probably paid for her whole box and um, her dog got a bunch of toys. So it's a big old ball of plush. So check out Donna for that. I haven't, she hasn't done any lately, so I don't know if she'll be doing any soon or not, but um, here is the video. Where is it? Uh, right here. This TY tie actually is a bolo. Check that out if you want to see which one I found that goes for big money. This is Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. I will link her down below if you are looking for uh, inventory. Check her out. She's the one that does the dog lots. So, all right. Toledo Antique, another amazing reseller channel that is just jam packed with knowledge. They know all about vintage and antique items. Uh, right now, not putting out a whole lot on their YouTube channel, a lot of shorts. But they do have older videos where they teach you how to pack uh, big lots of dishes. And I cannot find it. You'll have to like scroll through their channel. But uh, they like they walk you through it and they sell huge, huge um, how to pack teacups, uh, how to pack small like packing videos. But they do a really good job and they ship stuff that's fragile all the time. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's the backstory to this. This was a consignment item. So they have a shop and they do consignment and they got a box of stuff from somebody and it said junk on the box. They thought this was junk and they sold this on eBay auction for $520.97 plus shipping. These are 1940s World War II matching dog tags. They say William G. Todd, and they've got the serial number on them. Just a fantastic bolo item. And the person consigning it had it in a junk box. How cool is that? So their cost of goods is nothing. I believe they do a 50-50 split. The next item they sold is this Carl Grisbaum Sweet Singing Yellow Bird Cage Music Box from West Germany. And they picked this up at an estate sale for $4 and they sold this for $299.99 plus shipping. The next item here is this Richard Glacier German Wooden Handmade Christmas Advent Pyramid Carousel. Look how cute this is. These are fantastic. Um, this one, where did they get it? They got this. Another consignment item. So 50-50 split, sold it for $199.99 plus shipping. Uh, the next item they sold is this frame. They did say that this took a year to sell, but you guys, this is sterling silver embossed heart-shaped picture frame from 1895. So I guess my point to you is uh, picture frames can be sterling silver. So definitely look for the marks. I guess one of these means sterling. I'm not 100% sure. But they got this. Um, they paid $50 at an estate sale for this. And they took it. Uh, I'm sorry. Sold it for $165 plus shipping. But it did take a year to sell. All right. We have a rural squirrel. And. I goofed. I put her on two videos. So um, how did I do that? We're going to skip that one. All right. We have the Cha-Ching King and his channel is growing like a weed. He is doing incredible. Um, 
he has anywhere from beginner videos to teach you how to start reselling, shipping tips, different things like that. But he is also a big money bolo finder. One of the biggest money bolo finders I have seen. He's incredible. Um, let's look at what he sold here. The first item he sold is this vintage Lunch at the Ritz butterfly clip-on earrings, 1988 signed and colorful. So they're actually signed. How cool is that? They are beautiful. Um, he got these in a box lot at an estate sale. Uh, the whole box was $10 and he sold these for $112.49 plus shipping. All right. So there's a little backstory to this one. He bought 583 Annalie dolls. And he does have a video right here. If you want to go see what all he got, go check out that. But um, he paid 200 for them all. That was what they were asking. That's what he paid. He got them home. He started looking them up and he realized just how valuable some of these Anna Lee were. So he started selling some, th some of them and he went back and he gave the person he bought them from an additional $300 because that's just the kind of guy he is. Um, but I asked him about this. I'm like, what did it sell for? You took a best offer. He's like, well, it actually only sold for $15. And I'm like, okay, you took an offer of $15 and you had it listed for 109. Like what's going on here? Right? So he um, said that the person that bought this also spent $500 on other Annalie items in his store. So this was the one that he ended up reducing to get them at that price point they needed to be at. So a $500 order from one person, that is incredible. So these Annalie dolls can do really, really great. Um, Got Junk in Our Trunk recently did a video on Annalie dolls also. So definitely go and check her out. Okay, this is a topsy turvy early flip over doll, Miss Muffet spider hand stitched. So, uh, topsy turvy means you can flip them over and they're two different things. So, it's a spider and a little doll. And this is just so cute. I loved it. And he got this for $2.50 at an estate sale and sold it for $95.99 plus shipping. All right, we have the Funky Pickle Thrifter, who is also a big money bolo finder. She specializes in jewelry, but she had a fantastic doll haul from an estate. And I'm going to show you some of the dolls she found because she found some really good ones that I didn't know about. And um, let's first look at this piece of jewelry and her YouTube channel is incredible. So go check her out. She got this heavy vintage 14 karat yellow gold ring from an estate sale. It was actually the same estate sale that she got all of these dolls for. I will show you here that she does weigh it. That's an excellent thing to do in um, your description if you're selling 14 karat gold. That gives the buyer an idea of what scrap would be and why they are pricing it at at the price of pricing of that. As you can see, she put not scrap. Like this is a, a wearable, nice ring. She ended up taking a best offer of $350 on this ring. And she said this ring paid for everything she bought that day at the entire estate sale. So the first item is this toner doll, Mary Inglebright and Estelle doll, 18 inch calendar girl, red dress and box. She said toner or toner, I'm not sure how to pronounce it is definitely something to be on the lookout for. And I know anything Mary Englebright can be a bolo. Definitely look up anything Mary Englebright. I've sold note cards. Um, just there's a big line of things by Mary Englebright. So collectible, definitely for sure. She sold this one for $138.50 plus shipping. Here is another Mary Englebright. This one is also a toner or toner uh, from 2004. Super cute. This one sold for a best offer of $55 plus shipping. So what that tells me is different ones go for more. Definitely do your research and look them up. She paid $300 for all of the dolls she bought that day. Not sure how many there were. This one, she's like, is she rolling her eyes? Kind of looks like she was rolling her eyes, but maybe not. Maybe that's just how she looks. Helen Quiche, another brand I've not heard of. Riley with clothes, JJ Shoe Shop Collection 
$77 plus shipping on that one. Where Pigs Fly Farm. Okay, so Where Pigs Fly Farm is a nonprofit animal rescue. All of the eBay um, sales go towards their cause. They are trying to get monetized on their YouTube channel. So that can also go to their cause. I have a whole video where I feature her store and I talk more about that. I can't remember the number of animals they have, but it is like a huge number of channels. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. A huge number of animals. So if you want to support that cause, there is a link to her eBay store down in the description, along with her YouTube channel. If you could subscribe, that would be great. So what did she sell? She sold this antique celluloid rhinestone floral flower basket estate brooch pin. And this one came from a live auction box lot. And she sold this for $50 plus shipping. And here is what the back looks like. The next item is this Furby. It's a limited edition 1999 Tiger's Gesture Furby. Some tags, talks, and moves. She got this donated by a friend to um, help support her cause. And she sold this for $51 plus shipping. And this is like, they also have um, where you can go and like, pet, like a not like a petting zoo, but like a petting, you can go and pet the animals. And I think they have a bed and breakfast. So it's quite an establishment and just fantastic what they're doing for these animals. The next item. Okay. So she said that she was going to price this at $20 because she could not find any comparables on this item. And then she said, you know what? I'm going to do an auction. And it ended up selling for $128.50 plus shipping. It's a vintage Bostwick spray plastic finish clear prevents rust advertising can empty. $128.50. How incredible is that? I am so glad she did not list it for $20. Mindful Recycle, another big money, huge money bolo finder. This lady goes into estates and buys the most incredible items. That is mostly where she sources. She will go to yard sales and stuff like that, but estate sales are her thing. And if you want to learn about big money bolos, go and subscribe to her channel. Let's take a look at what she sold. This, she said, was a long tail item. Took quite a while to sell. Here's her picture. She always has great pictures, uh, great titles. Uh, this is Terry from Mindful Recycle. I don't think I said that, but this is a conch shell. And she got this at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $68 plus shipping. The next item here was at an estate sale. She bought a big bag of Happy Meal toys. Um, so her cost of goods for this was about a dollar. So somebody threw this in with the Happy Meal toys. So lucky her. This is Krang's Android body with brain TMNT, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure Playmates toys, 1994 Mirage Studios. So her cost of goods was about a dollar for this and it sold for $139.97 plus shipping. The next item is this uh, Sunburst Mid-Century Modern atomic clock with key. Incredible. Totally would have kept this. Um, love it. She got this at an estate sale for $22 and sold it for $195 plus shipping. The next item here is this vintage Laura Ashley Hampshire val balances and draperies, blue cottage, floral, new old stock. And she got these at an estate sale for $11 and sold them for 119 plus shipping. She did say that these took a while to sell. It was a long tail item, but definitely new old stock is a great thing to be on the lookout for. The next item comes from Butterfly Hustles and she is also incredible. Love her channel. She takes you into the thrift store with her, takes you shopping and shows you what she finds. All right, so she sold this Kelly Toy Large Jumbo 38-inch Leopard Animal Realistic. Here is the tag. Very cool item. And check out those eyes. She paid $3.50 for this at a thrift store and sold it for $51.38 plus shipping. 
The next item here is this art to wear Moomoo dress. It's a maxi dress and it's an extra, extra large, but look at the detail on this. How cool is that? And she got this at a thrift. Um, I'm sorry. This came from the Goodwill bins and she had about $1.45 in it and sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Juicy Couture uh, ho um, handbag, hobo bag designer, 1990. She said these are trending right now with the kids that are buying uh, like the Y2K items. So certain items from that time frame are trending. And this is a Juicy Couture bag. And she said this is one of them. She sold this for a best offer of $80 and she got it at the Goodwill for seven. And I used to have a Juicy Couture bag very similar to this. And it was like the softest leather and I loved it. And it was a long time ago. It's definitely vintage. I think I still have it. I think my sister bought it for me. All right. The next item here comes from Dawn's One Stop and Shop. And he has a great eBay store, vintage to now items. Uh, check him out. Link is down below in the description. And I'm just going to show you a few more items here. And he sold this vintage wooden 10 pipe stand holder with humidor amber glass. Um, he got this at a yard sale for $10 and he sold it for a best offer of $60 plus shipping. The next item here is this Gap sweatshirt. So this is a mall brand and he picked this up for seven at a secondhand store and he flipped it for $34.99 plus shipping. So I think that's pretty fantastic um, for you clothing resellers, something to definitely look for. And here's another one. This is a Carhartt women's plus size zip up extreme sweatshirts, 2XL. And he got this at a yard sale for five bucks and sold it for $34.99. So again, another great item for clothing resellers to be on the lookout for. I know you guys don't get a lot of clothing on my channel because I don't really do much clothing anymore. I do sell clothing. I just don't share it in my videos because most of it's retail arbitrage items and you would just be seeing the same items over and over and over again. So I just keep those out of my videos. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite bolo? in this video. And please subscribe to these channels. Um, follow their eBay stores. They are fantastic. And leave me a an emoji of an owl or just write hoo, hoo, or owl in the comments. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. No pressure. This is just if you're interested in getting um, a shout out for your eBay store or your YouTube channel. <laughs> oh.